Hey, good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Hope everyone's doing well. Okay, we're going to be starting shortly, just making sure everything is up and running, everything's good to go. And by the looks of it, yes, it is. So we'll do the formal introductions. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. We're starting a little bit earlier tonight, which is nice. That means we can go a little bit longer. So, for those of you that are not aware, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So, go show some love and support over there as well. Go subscribe and let's help spread the word of this channel. Let's try to help grow this little community. It would mean a lot to me. It really, really would. Okay, I think we're in a business where we can switch over. And I think we are good to go. Sound is on, chat is on, everything is good to go. Okay, so... I made a bit of a boo-boo. What I ended up doing actually was... Playing a little bit um, single. So, I ended up getting the Artificer, I ended up getting Rex, I ended up getting Loader, and then in the last stream, we ended up getting the Void Fiend. The Void Fiend, we are definitely going to try and play a little bit more with. However, tonight, I think we're going to run with Railgunner for a little bit. And, I also went and got an additional Artifact. Now, the Artifact that I went to go get was the... Which one was it? Oh, yeah. Artifact of Swarms. So, most uh, monster spawns are doubled, so there's definitely going to be a lot more to shoot at. However, obviously all the monsters' healths have been halved. So, it's a balance. There's more of them, half the health. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where it's kind of not worth it. So, I think what we're going to be doing in this, uh, this session is, we are not going to be running with Artifact of Command. Artifact of Command makes things very, very easy because you get to choose what items you want. So, all I'm going to do is say... Artifact of Swarms. And then I'm thinking if we should do Artifact of Sacrifice. Now all Artifact of Sacrifice does is it just removes the chests. And just makes it so that as you kill enemies, they could potentially drop something. This could either mean we're going to get a lot very quickly, or we're going to get almost nothing very quickly. But I think let's run that, see how it goes. And yeah, let's just see if we can do a decent. We're not going to run monster in difficulty yet. I don't think I'm good enough, <laughs> good enough for that yet. So we're just going to run the standard difficulty. And because I can't select, it's going to be a little bit more tedious. So tonight we're just going to have a little bit of fun. We do have a couple of things that we're trying to unlock. So we have unlocked a few new things, but there are stuff like discovering the hidden chamber. I don't know how to do that. A prismatic trial I'm probably not going to be able to do. Um, activate six turrets in a single run. We'll see if we can't potentially grab that and see if that's a possibility. Um, charge a teleporter with less than 10% health. That might be possible depending on where the teleporter is and if I don't die. Um, we're not doing one soon, obviously. 20 stages in a single run. So that's obviously the end game, but that's difficult as hell. And then find the altar to Nakuna. Don't know what that is. And then there's a couple of other ones to do here. So. We're just going to run, see what we can unlock. But yeah, no artifact or command. We're going to start doing these runs properly. So we're running with the Railgunner. I'm not switching any of the loadouts. Hmm, okay, interesting. Could potentially do that. So artifact of sacrifice, artifact of swarms. That's what we're running tonight. Let's get into it. Starting off nice and quick with somebody right above us. And we've got a 3D printer straight off. Now obviously that means there are going to be a lot more enemies around us. 
but hopefully that means they're also going to start dropping because we don't actually have to worry about trying to run around the map now we are just trying to kill as much as we can because the more we kill the better chance we got of them actually dropping something for us and at least we also know that the teleporter is right down there boss damage and oh my gosh okay it really is a lot more but as you can see there's our first drop what did we get chance to stun okay not the greatest but we can definitely exchange that for some glasses Which we're definitely going to do. Thank you. I'll take the glasses. Ooh, that works as well. Additional damage from the crowbar. And another crowbar. Well, that helps me quite a bit. Okay, I think we're going to start making our way down there. Actually, mm. I'm going to do it. Give him a crowbar. Give me another crit. Throw another crowbar. Give me another crit. I just feel like I'm going to be able to gain more from that, especially with this build. These sniper shots guaranteed critting. I think that's going to be big. Now we just make sure we don't fuck it up. start making our way down because we're going to get ourselves fucked up very very quickly five to seven minutes max you don't want to spend in a single location okay i think we're looking good money's fine uh, i don't want to die Okay, oh yeah, that was fine. Barely hurt me. Okay, there's our first drone. We need to try and get six. And what's this? No. Okay, so we're not definitely not trading in our crit chance for damage hey jj how are you doing this evening man hope you're doing well there we go there we go please don't tell me it fell off did it fall off the map oh my god that's that's bullshit I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Hope you actually got some rest today. Or did you work today again? Okay, we're going to have to see how this fight goes. We're starting to get to that five minute mock. I don't want to take much longer than that.
Ooh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm definitely dying. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh. Okay, big guy's gone. Big guy's gone. This is what happens when you do all the double fucking enemy spawns. At least I've got a healing drone. I think this healing drone came in clutch. And with me not being able to choose my artifacts anymore, I'm down to RNG. 100% reliant on RNG. Oh, come on. How have I killed so many things and it still hasn't dropped me anything? So we're doing things a little bit differently. I don't have the option to drop what i don't have the option to choose what drops anymore and also i don't have chests anymore at all random items will drop from things that i kill so it's gonna make it a lot harder and i'm also playing on a much harder difficulty so here we've got some bleed and then we've got some damage reduction That's good, that's big, that's big, that's big. That's huge. Okay, awesome. As you can see, things have ended up being a lot more hectic than what they normally are. Because now we've also got double the enemies, but all the enemies have got half health. So I'm switching it up a little bit. I hope the sound is good, I hope you can hear me well, and I hope the game is loud enough, but not too loud so you can't hear me. Okay, we're good. 7 minutes and 50 seconds, 50 seconds longer than I would have wanted to, but we're on to the next area at least. It's a little quieter than usual. Okay, let's quickly fix it up. What's quiet, me or the game? everything okay let's try this so how's that for me i was maybe a little bit further away from the mic that i should have been okay so the mic is better let's test the game quickly let's see if it's a little bit louder that seems to be better on the audio input at least Yeah, that's good. Okay, awesome. Everything's balanced. Nice. I don't think I can do this yet. Nope. Awesome. Okay. How are you doing this evening, though, brother? I hope you're doing good. I hope you actually got some rest. And I hope you're actually playing something and not just chilling for once. Yeah, so last night we had our first little Borderlands playthrough. Well, a little bit of it. We'll definitely be getting back to some more of it. Just tonight I was really feeling some some risk of rain. And I was craving some proper RNG risk of rain.
amazing. I've killed so many things and still nothing is dropping. I would have thought by now something would have dropped. But it's okay. That's what we deal with. The part that saved me that came in massively clutch was the critical. Finding a 3D printer for the critical glasses. Still nothing. Oh, there's glasses over there. Probably not glasses, it's a necklace. So still nothing. Movement speed, but drop a healing orb on kill might be clutch. Meaning if we're starting to get low on that damage, on that health. Nice, those orbs drop. That's going to be big. And we're still looking for the teleporter. Okay, found the teleporter. Let's go towards it and then just chill around it. Because now there's no point to run around because we don't actually... Oof, I thought I wasn't going to make that. Because <clears throat> now we don't actually need to look for chests. But there is a printer over there. Can't see what that is. Ah, that's a book. Don't want a book. And that's a lot of healing orbs. Okay, let's go upstairs. Hey, what up, Maestro? How you doing this evening, man? Hope you're doing well. No, that was stupid. <laughs> Got some excitement in chat. I like it. All of that and still nothing. Like, I think of this, this challenge that we set is pretty difficult. We can't choose our own loot. It's double the enemies, but they've all got half the health. And we don't have any chests anymore. Everything drops randomly from kills, and there's a percentage chance that it drops. It's not a guarantee that every single enemy I kill actually drops something. So now it's 100% down to RNG. I don't want to wait too long. I'm already approaching the... Mm, I'm already approaching the point where I want to restart the... Not restart, but... Start the... Um, teleporter, at least. Okay, last round of enemies. I think if nothing drops after this, we'll just start the teleporter and see how we go from there. Got lots of healing, healing orbs. Yep, nothing. Okay, so let's just start this and let's go. Where's the boss? Do they not have weak spots? Well, this is going to be bullshit. And then killing myself in the process is also going to be bullshit. Come on. Okay, this is gonna be horrible. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Okay. Run fail. Well, this is what we're gonna get now. Because I got no control over the drops. This is what we're gonna get. So, F for the first one. But let's actually try out the new one. Oh, uh, no, I don't know if you were there. Maestro, so we finally unlocked some of the other characters. So, 
We've got Multi. I don't know if you saw Multi. We've got Artificer, which is a pretty badass build. Or badass character. This is the melee character that you saw. We've got Rex. We've got the Loader, which is also a melee, but he's got grappling hooks. So you can actually grapple hook around the map. And then we've got, obviously you saw the rail gunner, and then this is Void Fiend. And I definitely want to try out this bitch. So this is the character that we got for completing 50 waves of the Simulacrum. So I don't know much about this character. I don't even think I read like the profile properly. But this is one of the things it's got. It switches between modes. So it's almost got like an overclock that applies to it. And then once that's cooled down, we go back to the normal mode. Yeah, I'm going to be playing some more Borderlands tomorrow night. Tonight I was just craving some risk or rain. I was about to say no way that hits. <laughs> I'm actually not missing that many shots. <laughs> I mean, you saw last night. My aim ain't too shit. Like, it ain't some pro level card player, but... It ain't shit. And still nothing has dropped. Like, there's a printer for sticky bombs. But I can't use it, because I don't have anything to give it to give me a sticky bomb. I can get a drone at least. So one of the challenges that I need to complete is having six drones active in a single run. This is kind of bullshit, like, how have I killed so many things and I'm still not getting jack shit? So to try and stick ahead of the damage curve that comes, you want to try and stay in an area for 5 to 7 minutes, no longer, and then dip. Problem is, we're already approaching, what well, we've already gone past 3 minutes, and I don't have anything. I haven't had a single drop yet. And I can't exactly run around the chest and try and get some more jobs because the chests don't exist. Okay, I'm calling bullshit. How many things have I killed and there's still nothing? Not a single drop. We're approaching the four minute mark. I'm potentially going to have to fight the boss with nothing. First drop, and it's a ukulele. You know what? It was worth it. Waiting that long for the first drop to be a ukulele? Yeah, I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. So, oh no, for a moment I thought that was a drop. I was about to be like, that. I miss something?
Oh, especially because it actually links now. Thank you. But let's get moving. Yeah, we're starting to approach that five minute mark. I'm gonna bring the fight closer to the teleporter if I still don't have any any additional loot by the time we There we go, there's a drop. What is that? A fungus, you know I can do with a fungus. Fungus just means when I stand still I heal. Not the kind of item I was hoping for, but it's better than what I've got. Let's start the event. What am I fighting first? Uh, I want to stay hidden behind this stuff. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Thought so. Okay, bosses are dead. Uh, boost health regeneration. I will. You know what? I, I can live with that. What is that? Is that a watch? If that's a watch, that's gonna be massive. That's damage increase. Okay, we're starting to pick up some items. Actually starting to pick up some shit. Things are looking better. Not great. Just definitely better. Got some powerful shit to start off with. Okay, you know what? Teleport has been fully charged. Yeah. No way I actually sniped that bitch. <laughs> well, that's just fucking sneaky. Okay, what's that? Okay, that's a hoof. Oh no, it's a magazine. Something like a gasoline right now would be nice. The ukulele is nice because it's bouncing all my damage between the targets. But if I had something that applied some kind of stasis, that would be amazing. Technically means jack shit for me now. And that's because I don't need money to open up chests. And I've only got nine lunar coins, so I'm not gonna waste going and getting some lunar items. I don't see importance for it right now. Okay, I found the teleporter. Oh, there's another turret. That's a gunner turret. Because right now I'm falling off on the damage that I'm dealing, so having some additional firepower with me ain't the worst idea in the world. But I'm getting a little bit worried that I am well into the ninth minute, approaching 10, and these are the jobs that I've got so far.
very big concern. I've got four items, and I've almost gone through two areas. Seriously? Like at some point it's got to change, right? Like at some point the game needs to realize that like, yo, it's actually supposed to be dropping me shit. Let's try the boss fight and see if it actually gives me some additional shit. Okay, you know what? The fact that I switched over to that is clutch because that happened right at the perfect time. There's gasoline. Gasoline has helped me massively. Because now not only does my damage spread, it sets them alight as well. That was clutch. That was one. Now we've got a book. Chance on kill to drop treasure. That is beyond useless because I don't need money anymore. Gasoline was a big one. Gasoline was definitely a big one. You see this. The fact that I've now got money dropping randomly doesn't help me for shit. Ah, there's a lunar coin. I'll take that. to stun that's not too bad oh I heard something drop I think I heard something drop yes I did it's a guillotine that's massive that guillotine is gonna help me out a lot because currently my equipment is looking a little bit shit something else drop where'd you drop up there what is it uh, I can do with that ain't the best in the world but flat damage reduction yeah I'm not gonna complain another lunar coin well, at least now I know how everybody gets all their fucking lunar coins okay okay there was some progress I still got no double items. But we at least got a bigger variety because goddamn leading into this fight we were looking bad. It's zero movement speed either, so hopefully I can find a printer. But yeah, don't forget to follow. Share some love. And spread the word. However you can, it's up to you. Uh, we've got a printer for a necklace. Don't need that. There's no fucking ways I'm doing the gold altar. That's asking to be killed. And I don't think I'm going to be able to build up that kind of money anytime soon. Some attack speed would be nice as well. Let's move on. I need to find the teleporter. I'd rather do the fighting at the teleporter. Uh, 
that's just treasure that dropped. Nothing spectacular, nothing. Wow. And my ass is so slow. Where's the teleporter, though? So I go and freeze myself, well done. Ah, Lapton Days. You know what? That's not horrible. It just means I'm going to have some healing during the teleporter event, but it's kind of useless for me anywhere else. But I still want to find this, damn. There we go. Found it. Two. I'm going to take another drone because I'm trying to complete that challenge as well. And that's two golden shrines. That seems odd. I've got like no sh um, attack speed. None. Yeah, we've got gold over there, but gold ain't gonna help my uh, shit. We're already on 16 minutes. I'm on this third stage. 5, 10, 15, 6, 12, 18, 7, 14, 21. We're good roughly to about level 21, but then we've got to move for sure. And yes, I have to do quick. Ow. See, all that and still nothing. seconds okay well let's see how things go now I'm gonna give it till about maybe 20 minutes max if nothing's happened since there we definitely need to change it up We'll not change it up, we need to leave. Okay, why is everything so quiet? Where is everybody? Thing. Still nothing. Still nothing being dropped. You know what? Fuck it. Have we got what we need to be able to take on the next boss? Um, I'm just gonna wait for the percentage to go up. That way, hopefully, we can get the boss with our more destructive form. So I just want to check something quickly. Okay, the mic's still picking me up pretty good. That's good. Okay, we're gonna wait till we're about 90%, then I'll start the event and we'll take it from there. I was gonna start it over there, but let's go. Come on, deal with everything. Okay. Oh, well, should we let lower wood? Okay. That's much better. Sunglasses, health. Chance to stun. Health. We'll do a recap now of what we got. There's our first movement speed increase. better so much better quite a few 
healing orbs that are dropping the whole time, which is a massive one for us. So I just want to switch over on this again. Okay, so what did we get? We got rapidly heal out out of danger, slightly increased attack and movement speed, increases or permanent damage. So I didn't read that one. Ooh, what's this? Create a quantum tunnel between two locations. You know, I like this. This is kind of cool. You aim there, you do that, and we can move around pretty easily. Kind of cool. Makes traversal a lot faster. So what else did we pick up? Um, killing an enemy permanently increases your maximum health up by 100. Receive a delayed heal after taking damage and then dropping a healing orb. And then we've got our first crit. Nice. No, no, no. I want to get to that shield. Please let me get it. Please let me get it. Nice. Now we've got a regenerating shield as well. That's going to be massive. Can we get our first... Uh, legendary, yeah. I don't know what it's going to cost or how it's going to work. Some more sticky bombs to drop in the background there. We see an instant heal at low health, and it consumes the bottle, which is nice. Almost like an Estus flask. Got some sticky bombs. Got some more chance to bleed. Okay, we're starting to get there. Things are starting to look better. Let's go have a look how much this legendary is going to cost me. I always forget which one it is. Yeah, here's the lip. It's down this way. It's behind that rock. What are you gonna cost? 1,600. Okay, now I know what it costs. Let's get the cash for it. And now that I'm actually dropping treasures, it's actually gonna be worth it. I just hope it gives me something good. completely yes my very first attack speed increase that's gonna be massive for us Coffee. Another coffee is also going to be a movement and attack increase. That's our second coffee. Okay, we're looking better. We're looking a lot better. Thousand six hundred. Okay. I forgot what the price was, so I just had to double check.
can't. We've got the cash. Let's grab this legendary. Hopefully, it gives us something good. Please, please, please be something good. Please be something good. Mm, chance to hook all nearby enemies. You know what? I'm, I don't know if I like that. But I'm just happy with the fact that purely our item pickup has tripled in this round alone. I was getting really worried at the last of end, at the end of last round if we were actually going to have everything we needed. time we find the teleporter. Okay, stop dropping shit, otherwise I'm gonna continuously get stuck in this area. That's massive. Dealing damage heals us. I'm not actually seeing the... Reducing coming damage while sprinting, that's fine. So what you up to, Maestro? I still don't see the teleporter. I'm definitely not activating that. That's gonna kill me. I'm gonna go one level up and see. Just watch it. Nice. Yeah, we're making things a little bit harder for ourselves tonight. Perfect. Fine, we'll just keep moving. I hope the teleporter is not inside one of those alleys. No ways. That's going to be massive. That is a 3D printer for attack speed. So let's sacrifice one. Got some attack speed. I'm gonna sacrifice another cup. That's perfect. Okay, we've now got three syringes. I can live with that. That's already a massive increase, and that's a stake, so that's an increase in the health. I'm gonna have to check through here to see if there's. Yep, found the teleporter. I had a sneaky suspicion it was gonna be hidden in here. So, once again, let's wait till about 90%, and then we hit the boss with everything we got. Okay, let's stop the teleporter. And let's hit this. Boss is dead. That was good. We'll take that. We'll take a will of the wisp. Yeah, we're looking good now. We're looking very good. I'm happy with that outcome. And there's another fungus. Nice. Maybe 
going to is the healing nova. Another banner. That's gonna be massive. Got more money. The money is just gonna basically go towards our levels because it is kind of useless at the moment. Unless we come across another um, legendary chest that costs money to access. Yeah, we're looking good on time. We're sticking to the 5 to 7 minute average. Which is good. Nothing dropped. Am I gonna f Do you think I'd die if I fall from you? Well, I know what we're gonna find out. Oh wait, I forgot I got that thing. Never mind. That was an IQ. Some more sticky bombs. That's an hour of Marion. Faster out of combat. I'm good with that. Okay, we're looking good. I see there is actually a drop here. What you got? I don't need a key. I'll take a random drop. And that's a PSG. I'm nice with that. So far, the RNG has been on our side. There's one or two items that can completely break this run, if we got them. But for now, we're still looking good. And I can't think of another artifact that I really want. There's a key 3D printer that's beyond useless for me. Uh, I think I see the teleporter. All the way down that way. I think. I could be very wrong. It's not a 3D printer for a first aid kit. Don't need it. Teleporter, we're good. What are you printing? You're not printing anything that I want. Really? How many things have I killed and there's still nothing? Like sometimes it just got drops for days. And then other times it's like, nah, I ain't gonna give you shit. Oh well, let's do a loop. So we're not gonna fight Mythrix now. We're just gonna do a normal teleport event and then move on. over and we've got to try the dagger 
That's massive. Try to take and get some of that bleed. And we've got a wax coil. Wax coil means we can now move around a bit faster. And a teddy bear. Another banner. How many banners do we have now? We've got three banners. Nice. And we've got a top pass. Means now when we kill shit, we're actually gonna start getting some. If I get about like another two of those, maybe three of those, I'd be very happy. Another left in delay. Nice. That means our healing at the teleport event is gonna be even more. And a tri tip dagger. That is how many tri tips? Two now. Twenty percent chance to to bleed. Okay, on to the next stage. Shit's not looking bad. Things are not looking bad. get I don't want to pick up lens makers glasses and that's fine more crit chance just stay the fuck away from that thing I'm gonna be trying my best, don't you worry. I'm, I'm excited to sh like try and find some lunar, um, some lunar items. The only problem is like I know like all the green and white items. I know just about what every single one of them do. So there's no surprise really for me when I see it lying on the ground. The same cannot be said for the lunar items. The lunar items, some of them are fucking phenomenal and they're just completely game changing and then some of them will, will wreck you. It's game over. I'm gonna take that instead, now I get a copy of me. There we go, I've got a clone of myself running around now with the exact same skills that I do. Only gonna be for 30 seconds, I think, but still having another me out there. It's pretty decent. Okay, here comes the big pot. Can I get the. Can I get the alteration that I wanted? You know what? That works. some more survivability let's go risk it again JJ we're risking it again there's a hoof my first movement speed okay. another one okay kind of sucks because that skill for us just doesn't do much but that's okay
Okay, time to find a teleport. Let's get out of here. So how did that look? Another bundle, yeah. Another titty bay. I mean, come on, JJ, you can't tell me that this game doesn't look pretty fucking awesome. Now, with there being so many things, I don't know if you're noticing it at the bottom of the screen, I'm just picking up shit constantly. these beetles they're mine by the way <laughs> it is chaos it's utter fucking chaos teleporter event is done let's get moving and i got the cautious luck just in time jeez but that's what makes it so nice because you know it's chaos Kill the smaller ones, if the smaller ones explode, set the big ones on fire. If that hits me, I'm dead. God. Another will of the wasp. Another chance to stun. Yeah, I'm good with that. The way I see this, it's Path of Exile, but third person, and not top down. Because it becomes just as hectic, given time, with the right planning, it becomes just as powerful. Turn invisible on low health, survivability is going up a bit. And now we're just looking for the teleporter. See, there's a 3D printer over here. A guillotine. Ooh, that might be good. No. Nope. I'm not going to waste what I've got for a guillotine. Like, is this the kind of game that you would play? Seeing how hectic it gets and how interesting it gets. How a lot of it is down to RNG, more so than skill. Oh, fair enough. Let's 
Coffee, there's a key. But I'm going to be going back to some Borderlands tomorrow night. You're going to be enjoying that a bit more than, than this. going to die here yeah? but let's see what happens better get my sorrow then are you talking about for borderlands tomorrow yeah definitely the only thing is it's a question now of i hope he didn't level himself too high out of that bubble. That's instant death in there. I don't know what made me decide to come this way. I'm not ready for this area. I haven't fought in this area in forever and a day. Activate the port signal. Out of it, out of it, out of it. We're more than happy to get him roped in. Once again, as long as he hasn't overheated with himself. I'm very confused. I can't remember why we did this. I can't remember why we're doing this. I think we oh, we've got to activate the deep voids. Four of them. And then we've got to fight the special boss. And if I'm mistaken, the boss is an absolute fucking unit. Gotta stay out of that shit. Really? It's two out of the four. On to the next one. Shit gets insane. Like, shit really gets insane.
Oh, there's a lockbox. I think I've got enough keys for that. I've got a key. Yes, I do. Shit, Stay the fuck out of that, because that's an instant kill. Okay, I think we've got one more left to charge. Where is that last of gets up that way? Damn, that's close. I hate the fact that it shoots out the homing fucking black hole. Those things do enough damage on their own. Intense, bro. Tried to bag up there. Tried to crowbar. Nice. Okay, that's done. Now we can actually enter the deep void and do the next part of the mission. I think that's actually fine for the big motherfucker. I forgot where we actually entered the deep void. Well, that did not work. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we die. We didn't die. Yay. Our deep void's up there. What bullshit is that? Okay. Well, thank you very much. My eyes are not sticking around. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the fastest way up there. Please tell me you're a tunnel that actually like works kind of. Okay, that was pointless.
Yeah, okay, I think this is not the fight. I think this be do the this do be do the boss fight. Yep. Looks like it. Okay, where's that motherfucker? Here she comes. <laughs> and there's two of them. I did not think this through. I haven't fought this fight in so long. And my brain says, yeah, let's do this fight double. Come on, come on. Okay, first one's done. On to the second one. Shit, come on. Come on. Probably looks like a shit show to everybody. No. What are the chances? I'm so fucking close to killing both of them. It's 749,000 damage, but fuck me, just that one hit wreck my shit. That's disappointing. Um, stabilize the cell in the void fields. I actually need to beat that boss, if I'm not mistaken, in order to get the uh, Rexy. Not Rexy, because that's Rexy. In order to get the Doggo. And then escape the moon. I need to beat Mathrix for that, and I could not be fucked. And it's not exactly one of my most favorites.
Let's run with some artificer. I think I'm gonna turn off the item drops. No, you know it's good. I'm gonna turn it on. Fuck it. So we've got artifact of sacrifice and artifact of swarms open again. JJ, if you're not too busy, do me a favor. Bring up Google. Have a look at the different artifacts that exist. I can't remember what all of them are. Let me know if there's anything good in there. Anything that sounds like it could be fun. Oh my gosh, that actually hit. Well, fucking done. I was not expecting to actually hit that. So, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the alternate for Artificer. For its primary. So it looks like I'm shooting out like a little stasis orb. Normally, its primary is um, just like fireballs. And there's no ways I'm doing artifact of the mountain so early. Hell no. Will I run one of these? Yeah, maybe. Gee, that's still fine. That I can live with. So we've got some new viewers in chat. Welcome. Don't be shy. Say hi. Hope everyone's having a lovely day and or evening. It's one of the only things I don't like about... Oh, which I, I think it's Artifact of the Sacrifice. Yeah, I don't get chests, yeah. But fucking hell. You think with the amount of enemies that are spawning, I'd get more drops. And then when I do get a drop, I get that shit. Uh, RNG, this round just sucks ass so far. I see there is two 3D printers up there. I'm gonna go see what they got. I forgot this jetpack doesn't actually take you up. I uh, did extra damage to bosses. Not horrible, not great. We're still only on three minutes, so we still got about another two minutes to kill inside here. Before we absolutely have to start getting out of here. Really, you find it. Okay, it's a, it's a half bottle. Not interested in that. I can live without that. Really, it's both for the exact same thing. Play damage reduction. I don't need that right now. But would be nice is gasoline. Attack speed on artificers is kind of pointless. Do 
lead on Artif Artificer is kind of pointless. Critical Strike on Artificer is kind of pointless. You want something that's going to hit and that's going to proc some kind of st stasis effect. That's my personal opinion of what, what Artificer, Artificer excels at. Bleed is pointless because you're only ever shooting four rounds. Crit is pointless for the, basically the exact same reason. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I want the next round because I am not getting any drops. So hopefully by killing off this bitch. He said that's one of the problems. It's pure damage at this point. Because I got nothing to proc. Okay, let's head back to the Beetle Queen. Hopefully, we can deal with this shit quickly. Okay, Beetle Queen's dead. Really? Slow enemies. Come on, come on. Somebody drop me something else. This is bullshit. How many more things I have to fucking kill to start getting drops? Thank you. I need something that procs a ukulele. Gasoline will be nice. Will of the Wisp. It's not exactly what I want, but a little bit of survivability won't hurt, I guess. Okay, time to get the fuck out of here. I've already spent seven minutes in here. I've already 30 seconds over. Hey, we lost two viewers. I don't know if you're still in chat at the moment. You can still hear me clearly, right? Instantly giving that up. Instantly giving that up as well. And what else can I give up? Instantly giving that up as well. Big Will of the Wisps, that's massive. <laughs> You're gonna have to explain that one for me, Master, because all I'm thinking now is JJ and a hot dog.
artificer is so slow. Oh my god, and there's no movement ability at all. Ooh, it dropped something. Thank you, my first bit of damage increase. Survivability, not bad, ain't gonna complain. Can't say that this is really a benefit to me, but when having it ain't an issue either. Some more shit dropped up there for me, so that's pretty good. Don't forget to show some love, help spread the word. It really would mean a lot. Let's try and get this. Let's try and reach that goal. That 50 follower goal. It's all we're looking at. Wax Quill is quite nice. One more enemy. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody you can. Got some attack speed, which once again, like I said, is kind of useless for Artificer. But at least we're starting to get better drops right now. How the fuck did I run past the thing? What am I looking for? Okay, I've been spending so much time trying to find this one last remaining person. I haven't even kept my eyes out for the teleporter. Like, at all. We're already on 11 minutes. You know what, I'll take that every day of the week. Homing myself. Hells yes. Gonna come in clutch, especially for that last bit of damage. Okay, now that I've fucked around with that for long enough. We're approaching the 13 minute mark and I still got no idea where the teleporter is. Found the teleporter hidden over there in the back corner. Let's do this. Let's see how it goes. Nice and quick. Okay, that was better. So it looks like we just need to get to the teleporter event and just start killing everything here. It looks like when we're actually trying to kill shit out, like, oh, we're looking for the teleport, we don't get shit. But the moment we start killing people, they start dropping everything.
Eh, mi corro un peda. Hey, another hopu feather. Now we can actually stay in the air a little bit longer. Start getting those guild from above decks. That's quite nice. That's actually really nice because that's our main source of damage. Those of you that are not aware, we do also have a Discord. So reach out to your friends, reach out to your other Discords. Let's try to bring some eyes to the Discord itself. If we get eyes to the Discord, we might get eyes to the channel. If we get eyes to the channel, we might increase the viewership. We might reach that goal that we need. It would be highly appreciated. There's a hard drive to try and grow the channel now as much as we possibly can. We reached 10 followers, so thank you very much for the love on that, but now we've got to move on to that 50. And again, thank you to everybody that has shown some love. Some missiles, that's gonna be big. And another one of those. What is that? The predatory instincts. Yeah. Finally, a ukulele. That's gonna be massive. It's finally gonna get us to start dispersing the damage amongst everybody. Two more ukuleles would be perfect, but you know what? For now, one is more than enough. State and crowbar. I can live with that. I can live with that. And we found the teleporter as well. GG. I see we've got a lot of viewers pumping in and then leaving pretty straight away. Let's try not get the chat to be so dead. Let's actually try and get the people to stay. So you've got a 3D printer up there, but I don't know what printer that actually is. Gonna have to go pop and have a look up there. Let's go have a look. Definitely not wasting it on that. Okay, I think we're at a point where we can actually start the teleporter event. Okay, let's kick it off. Let's go up. Black school. Our movements can be better, but only when we jump. Now I have some good survivability. I'll take it. And it ain't bad.
Not gonna lie, those three will of the wisps. They're gonna come in clutch for how we survive. Here we go. Okay, we're actually good to go. Next one. We've got about an hour left in the stream. Come on, everybody, let's try and get some more views in here. Definitely sacrificing one of those for gasoline. Sacrifice one more item for another gasoline. That's perfect. Got two gasolines now. Get that damage tick. Let's do a mass exodus. Reach out on every platform that you know. Reach out on your Twitch. Reach out on your uh, Twitter. Reach out on your Discord. Wherever you can, let's try to spread the word. I think this is the first and the last time I'm going to switch out the uh, primary on the Artificer. I don't like the cold one. I like the fire more. Let's have a look what this is going to cost me for the Legendary. 1,005. Not too bad. We're more than halfway already, so... Let's have a look. Rest the key, don't know why we need to rest the key, it ain't something we need right now. And I think I've actually got enough cash. We'll just kill one or two more. But I think we got the money we need for. Thousand five, six, eight. Yes, we do. Come on, be nice to me. Be nice to me. You know what? That's shit. On this character, that's shit. That would have been fucking phenomenal on something like Huntress. But on this, that is. That shit. Okay, let's try and find that teleporter. Got some crit, got some glasses. Once again, crit is kind of useless for artificer, but eh. So what? It's something. Gotta keep moving. Now we're looking for that. Now we're looking for those particles. I see particles over there, but I don't know if that's up or that's down, or if that's just box standard normal particles. But let's have a look. What's up here? Don't see shit over there. I don't see shit over there. I think it might be in that back room again. I am also gonna have a look at this. Let's grab a drone. Nope, it's not back here. Not this time at least. sacrifice anything for that now where the fuck there it is I 
God damn, I should have seen it from the other side. But I didn't. Let's drop him. Another one of these. A bit excessive, but so be it. ATG rockets, nice. I put a little bit of gasoline, not bad at all. Some more damage to enemies over 90% health. It's one of those perfect situations where I wish that uh, one of the viewers that was in the chat last time, Rose Wally, where he was actually here so that I could show him that even though all the drops are exactly the same regardless of what character you get, how you use them or utilize them is what's most important. For example, crit and bleed on the artificer is the fucking pointless. You're not doing enough consistent damage to be able to stack bleed. You're hitting hard once or twice and hoping that everything that you've got procs. And that's it. Now we've got some movement speed. So, not a lot. Nothing dropped, let's get going. And that's the base of how Artificer works. Now, Tejo, I don't know if you were here when I asked you to check for me about the additional artifacts. If you did that, or if you weren't here to be able to remember that request. <laughs> Definitely don't want to fuck with them too long. Teddy bear is nice, but let's take that. Yeah, same thing. Either one of them would have been good. Teddy bear or brooch. And the reason why I'm asking if you checked for the additional artifacts, because this is where we apply additional artifacts. Or we at least do the trial. We get access to other artifacts. That is all good. Is in any other circumstances, this would be absolutely fucking phenomenal. 
but it's kind of pointless for artificer in my personal opinion There you go, pilot. I wasn't 100% sure about the particles that I was seeing, but... Looks like that was it. Let's do the next boss fight, see how it goes. It's nice, raise the wire. It's better than the fucking key. I thought my reward was the key for finishing it off. I would have been so mad. Let's go on to the next one. I think we're doing better already than we did the last round. I think. No, we made it to your last time as well. Okay, we've got some probes flying around. That's a big one for us. <laughs> Let's see if we can lob this in there and actually hit something. I highly fucking doubt it. They're very fucking impressed that I hit somebody. Taking the movement speed. Another one of the worst. That's very decent. Now that's very nice. That's looking real good. Yeah, we've got bleed. Bleed's not that important. We'll take some HP off. Once again, not important, but it's better than I suppose normal glasses. Okay, now we 
need to find the uh, portal. Portal's up there. Let's charge it up and we move on. Yeah, that works. Now we get a third one. Okay, we're looking good. Well, we're looking very nice. boot yes we're actually moving faster Stake more health is always the one. Reducing damage the first time you hit, you know, it's not bad. Ain't gonna be a run changer, but it's still not bad. Busy with that, we just quickly pause there and we have a look what's going on over here. Nothing there, nothing there. The look you kind of did. Hello? Hello? Wait, has my shit been like very fucking quiet this entire time? I'm gonna be very pissed off. This shit has been dead quiet the entire time. Like, I'm hoping you can still hear me. Pretty decently. Oh, the sound from the game hasn't been overpowering the overpowering my voice at least. Take that. <coughs> Some damage increase, that's not bad. Get out of this fucking bubble. I'm trying to figure out what's actually left to be killed. Oh, okay, it's actually being killed. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. What is that? Stunt some. Charge the stunt? No, thank you. Not worried about that. on to the next one sorry I'm just being really quiet right now nobody's really talking nobody's really there I'm just focusing on the game I might Jeff you'll need some love
Nice. There we go. Run's done. Artificer. No problem. Not a fan of the plasma bolt. I'd rather use flame. And also this iron surge. Kind of shit. I'd rather go back to the flamethrower. No, I'd rather use that. I need some more practice with the void fiend. Definitely need not a lot more practice with the void fiend. Could be good just the timing between switching between his different modes if you want to call it that is a little difficult but definitely gonna fuck with him some more railgun i absolutely love absolutely 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 love might just be different artifacts that he might be better for but yeah definitely want to give him a run a little bit more and then of course we all know engineer just being the absolute chat unbeatable No, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining tonight's stream. I think that's where I'm gonna call it. We've been going for about two hours and fifteen minutes. Chat's been quiet, views have been quiet. So I think I'm gonna call it there for the evening. However, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Share some love, show some love, share it with friends and family, put it out on your social media. Let's try to get the channel to actually grow a little bit. Let's try to get the chat a little bit busier and let's try to get some attendance. That really would mean a lot to me. Now, for those of you that don't know, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So go subscribe, go turn on the notifications over there. That way you can catch up on any past live streams you might have missed. However, without further ado, I hope you have a lovely evening and or day, depending on where you're from. Look after yourselves and much love. <laughs>